Welcome to Metro Casting. I'm Doug Farley. We're at the Columbia Montour Area Votech School to talk about the school and what it does for the community and the students as well. And with me is the what your title is? I'm the administrative director. So there's no superintendent here. It's the administrative director. And introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Dave Bacher. And Dave, you've been with the school for how long? This is my eighth year. Eighth year. Tell me about the school in general. What do you guys do here? What makes this different from other schools? Okay, well, we're a comprehensive area vocational technical school. So basically what goes on is seven school districts in Columbia and Montour counties send students who want vocational training to our, our facility. Uh, we're a comprehensive AVTS, which means that students receive a period of instruction every day in the four core academic areas, math, science, English, and social studies. And then they also have an intensive vocational experience where they spend half of a school day uh, in a vocational classroom learning a trade. Uh, and when we tour students that come from eighth grade, I, I tell them, you know, if you think about college, you did, there's a career that you have in mind. Uh, and when you go to college, you focus on that career and you get to spend the lion's share of your time in a major that's going to prepare you for that job. Uh, really, that's what we ask students to do here. We ask them to, to pick a subject that's exciting to them, that they see value in, that they could see themselves working in down the line. And, and then they get to spend half a day every day for most of their high school experience in that program. Uh, we're a tri typical high school in every sense of the word. We have sports, clubs, dances, uh, anything that goes on in a traditional high school, we have here. Um, lots of high schools uh, talk about being career or college ready. Uh, I know myself, to, to get ready for my career in education, I had to go to college. Uh, what we think we have here is, is the best of both worlds, really. Uh, we have students that leave here and their job and career ready right away. Uh, some of them are going to enter the workforce and, and go into a job that they're going to work at their whole lives. Uh, we have students that are going to go to a two or a four year college, uh, maybe pursue an associate's degree or a bachelor's. They're going to go on for some kind of post-secondary training. And we have kids that go right into the military. So really, truly, our kids are, when they graduate, career and college ready. One of the hot words in education right now, Doug, is they call it maker space. Uh, and that's an area where uh, kids get to you know, kind of play around with things, robotics, uh, machinery. They get, they get to make things. They get to innovate. They get to build things. Every training program that we have here is makerspace, and they get to spend a half a day in that. It's, it's truly completely different than anything that they've seen from kindergarten up through eighth grade. You know, I'm not going to say that if you come to this school, your, your success and path in life is assured. Uh, but we found that students that come, you know, whose attendance are good, pay attention, really take advantage of every opportunity that's available to them, whether it's uh, Skills USA, which is a club that, that students go to and compete with students from other CTCs, uh, the co-op program where students get to go out and go to work really uh, in, a you know, in a career that, that is linked to the training program that they're enrolled in. Students who take advantage of every opportunity they can really do have a ton of options when they leave here. Uh, it, it is a completely different paradigm from, from what exists in the traditional home school. Vocations you offer? Well, there, there's 17 different ones and it's, it's uh, everything, health occupations, I'll just go around the circle for you. Electrical occupations, uh, there's health sciences and health professions, uh, cosmetology, electronics, building trades and maintenance, carpentry, uh, auto body, auto technology, HVAC, machining, applied horticulture, uh, computer technology, welding, drafting, food preparation, and uh, graphic graphic arts, printing technology. You can also go on the, on the, uh, the school district's uh, website here and, and see exactly what they do offer. Right, right. That's uh, cmvt.us, www.cmvt.us. We have Hannah and we have Levi here now, and they're both seniors here at the Columbia Montour Area of Otec. What Hannah, what made you decide you wanted to come here rather than to your regular school district? When I was in ninth grade, I wanted to, well, I knew I wanted a career in healthcare, so that's why I decided to come to Votech because it better prepare me. In, in healthcare, you mean like nursing and something? I'm going to go to college to become a physician assistant. Nice. And are they helping you along in that direction? Yes, they uh, pushed, not pushed me, but they kind of led me towards that career and to choose that. And how so? Uh, every marking period in ninth grade and then every year after that, we have to do a career search and research different careers and then fill out a paper for the school and physician assistant was a career that I found and I really enjoyed that. So how does the school and your classes here, how does that steer you in that direction? What do you do here that, that helps you become what you want to become? In my shop, I learn different skills such as vital signs, uh, bed care manner, specimen collection, and like other various things that I will eventually use 
in my home. That's kind of and it's exciting for you. Yes, it's very exciting. Every day you like coming to school. I enjoy school very much. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Levi, you were studying what? Uh, electronics. Electronics. What about electronics? Let's go back to your childhood. What made you decide electronics is kind of cool? Well, I've always been kind of interested in technology and how it evolves and how it's constantly getting newer and, you know, smaller and, well, all around cooler. So I came here thinking, well, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do when I came here. I just knew I was kind of a hands-on guy. I like to build things. And uh, I picked my four trading programs my freshman year, and electronics was the one I enjoyed the most. That's the one you like the most. So what kind of things are you learning electronic-wise? Well, right now we're learning about flip-flops, which is something most people probably have never heard of in their life. <laughs> uh, I know everything from... Uh, AC to DC current, um, we've learned all kinds of stuff like that. And aside from that, we just build circuits that prove to us everything works. You actually have a trial and error kind of basis uh, with the school, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't blow it up, but here's what will happen if you do. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's exciting. Uh, as far as regular school work, what do you guys think about that, your regular, your regular studies? It's very challenging, especially in our math classes. It's very hard. Yeah, and do you want to go to college too? Yeah. Yeah. So where do you want to go to school? Uh, I'm already in at Johnson College out by Scranton. Nice. And that, that will continue with your electronics, right? Mm-hmm. E eventually, do you want to come up with a new whatever? Yeah. I'd love to get into designing. That would I'd be like exciting. to become an engineer eventually. And eventually, you're going to save my life, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I could. <laughs> I could do that now. We, oh. We're certified in CPR and first that's, aid. That's right. All right, and Hannah, you're going to go to school where? Um, right now, I'm deciding between King's College, DeSales University, or Rochester Institute of Technology for their five-year physician assistant programs. They have uh, nice choices. Yes, they do. With us now is uh, Nadia and Caleb. Uh, Nadia, you're an 11th grader, and you want to go into food preparation. Nadia's last name is Shikitano, by the way. It's a rather well-known name in the uh, Berwick and Bloomsburg area. Uh, fruit prep kind of family kind of expected to go into that line? Oh uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, my dad went to school to become a chef and you know we own Chicatanos in Berwick so I suppose yeah. <laughs> okay, but you do like it though? Oh yeah, I definitely like it. Um, it wasn't really something that I was like pushed to go into. It was something from a young age that I knew I wanted to go into because I've been around it for a while and I've known for a while I wanted to go into baking. What have they taught you here that's different than what you've already learned? Um, here I've had lots of opportunities through the Skills USA Club and things like that to compete and further my baking skills. And I've also learned a lot of things just in shop about baking and pastry arts and things like that. Do uh, you want to start your own restaurant, carry on a family tradition or a bakery? What do you want to do? Uh, my goal is to go to college for pastry arts and then I hope to own my own vegan bakery one day or work as a pastry chef somewhere. A vegan bakery. That's interesting. <laughs> I like that idea. How about the regular school work here? You're enjoying that? Yeah, I love yeah. my academic classes. Really nice teachers and that. You say teachers here are pretty cool, Caleb? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, why, why so? They, they're here for you. They really work with you. Yeah. It's the difference in this school. It, it really is hands-on. Uh, you're in the construction trade, uh, and you're actually in the co-op program, which means you're only here a part of the day. Yep. What does that work out? How's that look for you? I come in for the first half of the day, get through my academic classes, and then at around lunchtime or after lunchtime, I can leave for co-op and I go to work for the rest of the day. And is that what something you had planned on doing all the time or just kind of fell into your lap? It's something I planned on doing. Yeah. I like to work. So what are you working on these days? Uh, we're building townhouses in the Danville area. So you are staying busy. That's really cool. Uh, what have you learned here at the Votech that uh, helps you uh, in, in your future job? A little bit of everything in construction from masonry, excavation to framing and ele electrical and plumbing. Did you know anything about that when you first came here? When I first I was around construction ever since I was young. My dad worked in it and a bunch of my uncles owned their own construction businesses. So it's just kind of, again, fell, you fell into this. Yeah. All right, and one of the other aspects of the Votech that doesn't get as much uh, notoriety is, is sports here. Nadia, you're involved in basketball. Yeah. How many years now? Um, I'm a junior, and I played all three years so far. And you love that, huh? Yeah, I do. Yeah. How are you the high scorer? <laughs> <laughs> working on it. I'm working on it. And, Caleb, you do powerlifting? Yes. That's an activity here. Yes, it is. So, uh, go ahead. I was going to say, I just don't know what, what powerlifting is. What is that? Uh, you have two lifts, and most meets, some meets, there's three lifts. Uh, the meet. 
that we do here is a Rams Power Day, and it's a regular push-pull meet, bench and deadlift, and you just try and lift as much weight as you can. All right, toot your own horn. How much have you lifted? The, the 380 here and benching and deadlifted almost 500. Don't mess with this guy. <laughs> with us now is uh, Donna Driscoll. And, uh, Donna has been not only a teacher and instructor here at the Columbia Montour area of Otex, you're also an alumni, which means you graduated from here. I did, yes. And you came back to teach and give back a little bit, huh? I did. Something was given to me, and it's my turn to return it. So you do cosmetology and makeup things? I do. Tell me about that. Cosmetology is beautifying everything in the beauty industry, anywhere from haircuts to makeup, skin care. Um, special occasions, so we touch base with all of it. And the kids that you instruct on this, uh, obviously they love this kind of thing, right? They do. They like to please others and make other people happy. So how tough is it to teach them this? Is it a um, I, progression? It, it is. Um, sometimes I, I have to giggle because when I when I am showing them how to do something, they are like, oh, that's not fair. You can't, you know, you do it better and... I said, well, the first time I did it wasn't that great either. I've done it thousands of times, and you'll be able to do that too. That always takes a lot of pressure off of them. Right. You have to take practice more and more. The, better, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. Yes, that's correct. Well, how have you seen the school change from when you were here to today? I don't know necessarily that I've seen it change so much with that. It's very much a family situation. Um, the teachers are very supportive. Uh, there's, there's nothing that you cannot get here if you don't ask for it. And we are also aware of the, our students' needs. Um, as far as change, um, one thing that's wonderful about it is that I had my own salon before teaching, and I loved coming here because I know that in this industry, we kept up with the new trends. And that's really important. I was going to say, that's got to be a big deal. You, you, your hairstyles change. Absolutely. And to make it successful for you, we want to make sure that you are covered with everything you need to do to be successful. I would imagine, because I'm thinking beauty shop kind of talk like that, when you're teaching these instructions, you're hearing a lot of conversations. You've heard the conversations change over the years between the students. Absolutely. How so? Um, I mean, there's always the boy talk and all that stuff. Well, the, the students today are very well knowledge. They're, they're involved with the media. They know how to sell themselves. Um, I, they want to make, they want to earn, they want a career, they want to be successful. And I think it's a little more today um, than it once was. I think we just kind of lived our lives back then. And I don't know if I'm just speaking because I was naive at yeah. 16, 17, 18 years old, but I, I do see much more motivation that I thought I saw when I was young. Jonathan Ryan is here with us now, and Jonathan uh, teaches welding here at the Columbia Montour Votech. First question is, you, and, and we heard as we were talking behind the scenes here that you haven't burned that beard off yet. No, not yeah. yet. No. That's, that's good instructing. Yeah. How to weld without burning yourself. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's... Um, what is it about welding that you like, and what do you teach your kids? We teach the kids here um, more than just joining plate together. We do a lot of fabrication, um, building projects for people in the school, you know, local projects, maybe somebody needs something fixed it's good experience for the students to show show a student how to fabricate an object from scratch come up with a drawing um, it, it's more than just joining plate so you can you can turn a small project into a really big learning experience for a student and and a big way right so it's more than just welding it's actually designed too oh yes definitely that's interesting you mentioned that uh and one of the things that i've heard about the the columbia montero votec in the past is that there are certain of the vocations here that people from outside can come here and have things built yes that's correct so what is it about votec that that you love here now you're an alumni as well uh you were here uh, as a kid and now you're here as a instructor what do you like about it now versus then um there's really no comparison i mean i loved it when i was here and now that I am, I'm back here teaching, I mean, I, I love it just the same. It's the atmosphere, the teachers, the students, the students are here to learn, and that's, that's what makes this job, you know, exciting. It's, the students are willing to learn, you know, we're all here to support that. When they're done, if a certification is needed for a certain vocation, can you guys get that, that, that done? Yes, that's correct. Um, the students, the students work across, um, a broad curriculum and throughout that curriculum they're they're working on building drawings building weldment parts um, 
we do the theory work that goes along with it, and uh, the students take their written tests, but they also produce these welded parts. And that shows their skills that they've developed, blueprint reading, cutting, welding, and the fabrication end. And when a student uh, graduates his senior year, he can receive his AWS entry-level certificate, which is good for three years. And with us now is uh, Jim Huntley. He's the athletic director here at the Votech. And again, we've, we've said this before, but uh, Votech is not necessarily known for the athletics. So tell me about the program and why is it kind of cool to have it here? Well, it's very important to the students. Uh, they, we get about 30% of our students to participate, which is higher than most Votech schools that have sports programs. Um, it's a good way for them to teach the kids uh, new lessons and um, how to grow as an adult, be a team member, and participate, work hard, and see what kind of results you can get. The, the neat thing is, is since there's, the emphasis is not necessarily on sports, uh, you don't have to be afraid to try out here. No, we, uh, we don't even cut. We allow all students to participate. They uh, have a chance to, to play, maybe if they've never played before. We encourage them to participate. And I would think the, the athletics itself uh, and the competition, that's important for every kid to have to experience. Yeah, it is. Um, they learn how to put in an effort, see what kind of results you can get out of it. Try to improve yourself from one game to the next, one practice to the next. Um, I think more importantly, what we try to do here is we use athletics as a way to teach them and encourage them to become better adults, better people. Uh, it's not about the winning, it's about improving them as a pe person. That's our goal here. And for more information on the Columbia Montour area Votech School in Bloomsburg, log on to their website at cmvt.us. That is where you will learn more about the school's curriculum, vocational opportunities, and more. That'll do it for this episode of Metrocasting. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again after later. <music>